Okay, we're back for video number two. Wait just a little bit to see who can hop on with us. Do a little crafting this morning. Glad y'all are here on this cool Saturday. And we're kind of mixing it up today. We don't have mystery stamping this morning. But we have something else. We have this or that today. So I just have to keep you guys on your toes. You just never know what you're going to get with us, right? Welcome back, LD. Glad you're here this morning. Welcome back, Judy. Give just a little bit of time for it to show up in news feed so people can find us. Would you mind trying to type in Diana and see if you can tag? Hold up. Share or spread? No, just um just a minute for people to log in. Diana was struggling to get in earlier. I think Facebook, as usual, is giving us a little bit of a hard time. But we didn't have a train yet. We, well, thank you for jinxing us. <laughs> now we'll probably have double train during this video. Diana, there. Okay. Way I could invite her, kind of tag her. So, okay, not sure if we'll be able to see comments again this time, but I appreciate you guys um, saying hello and uh, the comments from the first video. I was able to go back and see them. So, I'm glad you're here together to um, watch and be sure to tell each other hi as well. I know uh, it's fun to get to chat back and forth, then y'all are welcome to do that while we show you another project. So, as I said earlier, nothing fancy this morning. This is probably the fanciest card because it is a little bit of a fun fold, and it's a super, super easy one. I know you've seen me make cards like this before, but this is um, a really great layout that's very, very easy to make. So, oh, did you bring that back? So this is the card that we're gonna create. Very simple, but this is really gonna focus on stamping. We've got just a small piece of designer series paper, and then this is actually designer series paper on the inside too. So when I was doing that and cutting that paper, I thought, oh, they're not gonna know what to think. I'm using designer series paper to write my message, but I thought that added such a beautiful touch. Just that artistic flair to use the designer series paper to be able to write my message. And you know what? We can buy more paper, y'all. Let's use our paper. It's just so pretty. Okay, let's get started. Now I'm gonna kind of probably surprise you because we are using a pumpkin pie card base. So it is still an eight and a half by five and a half card base. And it is scored at four and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and reinforce that crease. But then we've got it scored again at two and one eighth, and it doesn't look like I did the greatest job of scoring that. Let me pull it closer to me so I can try to get it lined up better. Okay, let's see if I can't manipulate it better there. I think it'll be okay. So on these cards, I like to really go over the score line well before I start putting it together because if you don't it's harder to do that after it's together. So we'll do that just a couple times. So there is our pumpkin pie card base on our nice summary card and I've gone ahead and chosen one of the So Saffron pieces of designer series paper to put on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that first. 
So y'all let me know what you think about uh, writing on this designer series paper. I don't know if that will. Oh, come on, glue. It's warmed up some in here now. We're better than we were that first hour, but let me know what you think about writing on that designer series paper. I thought that was a really neat touch. I like stamping on designer series paper as well. So I'll show you the sentiment is actually stamped on a little scrap of designer series paper. I've gotten really good at using my scraps and I just love that. See, this is already sticking up again. So let me find my bone folder once more and work on it one more time. Okay, now we've got just a thin piece of this design of the designer series paper. So it has that orange in the background, but lots of pretty colors from the flowers. So we're going to just put this here. Again, use just a, a lot of bit of liquid glue, right? So I thought this was neat too, that you are seeing this is pool party in the background. Who would have ever thought of putting blue and orange together, but it works, doesn't it? Or I think it does. I'll, I'll let you guys know if you think it does as well. Okay, next up we're going to do some stamping. So we'll bring my mat back in. Looks like I need to clean it, but we'll do that afterwards. So I wanted to show you too, I used a piece of cardstock for a project and I messed it up. And so I saved this because it has like where the printer tried to pull it through and all. I like to use those type things or even copy paper to save when I need to stamp off. Let me flip that over. <laughs> it's even worse on the other side. So that's why I have that piece of paper there because we are gonna need to stamp off and we're gonna go ahead and get started with our stamping. So we've got a couple of different images. And to begin with, we're going to use Pool Party ink. Y'all love that I still have the old style ink pads. But hey, they still work. They work beautifully. So first up, I'm going to ink up this floral stamp. So you've got a two-step stamp here. Stamp it right about there. Remember you want to press down for just a few seconds so that that ink has a chance to transfer. Okay, so that's all we need our pool party for. And again, look how easy just stamps ink and paper. And of course you could put an embellishment if you wanted to, but you don't have to. I'm not stamping off, am I? Not this time. Yeah. You can with this one. Yeah, you could because I think I did. Um, I practiced a little bit making different color flowers and seeing what combinations I liked. So I think I did stamp off because this is Night of Navy. And I want to make sure that it's not too dark when I line it up here. Now, this stamp is really forgiving. So did I get it perfectly lined up? Probably not, but it's okay. Looks pretty good actually though, but it um, is just a gorgeous accent on this flower. So don't you don't have to worry. Again, it's kind of like being an artist. Everything doesn't have to be perfect and everything in nature is not perfect. Blue not your favorite color flower? Well, you know, there's blue flowers. We have we have creative license still. Okay, next we're going in with old olive. And I'm gonna need that blue ink, aren't I? And then we're going to bring our stem in. And I think that I did it full strength as well. See if I can get this lined up here. I kind of left just a little bit. of space. I may have this a little bit wonky. Yes, I do. But you know, I like it. We're going to go with that. 
So I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer so you can see even in the leaf, it's just got those kind of brush strokes. It's just so pretty. Yeah, that's okay. Sometimes flowers grow a little bit wonky too, right? Absolutely. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring in our sentiment. And again, come back in with Knight of Navy ink. And I just have a strip, again, that was a scrap. So I think I'm gonna try to stamp it kind of in the center where it's a little bit lighter. I guess it really doesn't matter though. It's gonna work. See if I can get somewhat straight. Mm. Love it. That was okay. We're, we're gonna go with it. I guess I need to start putting a little note when I send out a card. Sorry, made this on a live video, so it's not perfect, but it's okay. Okay, so I even had an extra piece of white and I ended up not really needing that. So I decided to use that same yellow to mat here. So we're just gonna be able to assemble our card. So it's kind of the reverse color scheme of this one. Let's get our liquid glue again. So I think it would look really neat too. We can actually try this if you put this flower on this card front. You can see it just really pulls a different way. It pulls the flowers differently from that background designer series paper. That is just like magic. I love that. Are you able to see comments still? Not again no, this time? No, no, no. Oh, Facebook. Well, y'all just chat amongst yourselves and I'll catch up with you after. So just a little bitty mat. Let that sew saffron. What else is in this paper? Bumblebee is the other yellow and I think we use it later on the next project. Okay, well, now my glue keeps falling over. Get this matted. Such a pretty floral image. Now I know sometimes we struggle just a little bit when it's more of um, an artistic look with the images that you don't they don't have to be perfect and they're not meant to be perfect because like we talked about not everything in nature is perfect so that's okay now we're going to come in with some dimensionals and of course I'm just going to bring them on this side So that I don't adhere my card closed. And I'm using quite a few because this is the part that people use to open the card. So we want to make sure it doesn't come off, right? Get those dimensional backs off. It does drive Oliver crazy when I have them on the floor. Oh my goodness, y'all. Do I still have one? Oh, at the top? No, it's off. No, it's oh, it's halfway off, isn't it? Okay, let's get those backings out. And I'm going to bring it sideways to try to help me get this lined up. I'll leave a little bit of that border. I need to come up a bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Go ahead and glue it down there. So now, 
we've got our front fold opening. That one's pretty too. Let me know if you prefer the more yellow or the more blue. Or orange, I guess I should say. And I just came in with my snips and cut this at an angle. This is one of my favorite ways to add a little sentiment. You could certainly banner that if you wanted to. And we're just gonna bring that across that wonky little stem. And we'll grab just a couple more dimensionals to um, give that sentiment a little bit of strength because it is designer series paper that we stamped the sentiment on as well. So we're using up all those little bits I have to tell you, when we got ready to do our December class and use up our scraps, I didn't have a ton of scraps because we've been really good about that, y'all. We're doing good. Let's kind of bring this right across. That looks pretty good, maybe a little bit wonky. That helped cover up my stamping boo-boo, didn't it? You could put it at an angle if you wanted to. Okay, that is project number two for you, focusing more on the stamping. And just to show you how quick and easy it is to stamp that lovely card. Now you could do a bunch of those flowers. That would be really, really pretty. You could certainly make your own background paper with them. And of course, the dies line up with the flower and you can also die cut that. So hope you enjoyed this and picked up a couple of tips. We will be back at 11 o'clock with our final project and also this or that stamping. So see you soon.